Yo guys, here's the easiest way you can render an animation out of Cinema 4D. So here I have a scene I created using CG shortcuts. Go ahead and subscribe to them. They are a great resource if you are learning how to do motion graphics or 3D. So say you're done with your first Cinema 4D scene and you want to export it out of Cinema 4D. What do you do? I have no idea, except I kind of do. So first things first, you're going to go into your octane settings, drag that window to the middle. Then you're going to go here and change it from direct lighting to path tracing. Why? Just because it's a more physically accurate, unbiased rendering method. What does this mean? It just means that it calculates the light rays bouncing around in your scene in a more realistic way. From here, you're going to want to up your samples or make them lower. It all depends on your scene, but if it's an animation, you can usually get away with with about three to eight hundred it just depends on the scene if it's too dark or if it's too bright or if there's a lot of high quality textures so for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to leave it at 600 but this info is completely subjective so this info may not correspond to your scene but it works for about 70 percent of my scenes so do as you want with that information for the diffuse depth i usually leave it at around 10 my specular also at around 10 it all depends on how many specular materials you have in your scene. Then you're going to set your GI clamp to 1. And as you move these parameters, you can actually see what's going on in the scene. And you know, you might need more samples or less. It all depends. All right. So for these two check marks, if you want to render just your subject in the scene, you want to select alpha channel and deselect keep environment just so it renders the pure balls or whatever dinosaur basement, whatever you may have. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep my environment and deselect alpha channel. If you have an NVIDIA GPU that is equipped with RTX, you're going to want to go into settings. I know it's settings within settings and then click device settings. That is settings within settings within settings and select use RTX acceleration. It'll just decrease your render times. So we are going to close here. So we are done with octane settings. Now for the Cinema 4D settings, we are going to go into this little gear with this little movie thing. We are going to change our renderer from standard to octane. We're going to click output. Usually you want to do this whole process before you start your scene. But in the case of this tutorial, I'm just showing you how to do it in general. So we are going to change our scene size to 1920 by 1080. From here, we are going into frame range. If you want to render just this image right here, what's presented right here, you can select current frame, but in our case, we are doing an animation. So we want to render all of the frames that are in our scene. We just go click here and select all frames. Then onto our final tab, we're going to check save and then click save. Here is where we choose our destination. Click the three dots and you choose where you want to save your frames. In this case, I'm going to make a new folder. Then we're going to select that folder and choose what we want our frames to be named. I am just going to leave it as balls. After that, you want to select your format, which you have several options right here. I usually work with only TIFF files just because it plays friendly in After Effects and it's high quality. If you are a pro, you're probably not watching this video and you're going to choose EXR, but that's a topic for another tutorial. So we are choosing TIFF and we are going to change our depth just for better post-processing features the higher you go the more you can manipulate the colors in post 16 is just fine for this scene and again if you are rendering just your subject you're going to want to click alpha channel but in this tutorial we are rendering the whole scene so i'm going to leave that unchecked and we are done with this we're going to close that it's super important that you save just in case you get any errors and the way we go with the render by hitting this button right here Right away, you're going to see that your scene is going to start to render. Once you are done rendering, you have one of two options. You can either go here into file and select save as, and you would choose animation as obviously an MP4 and select OK to render out that video file. Or you cannot do that. Go into After Effects, right click, import file, find where you saved your frames, select the first frame and make sure that TIFF sequence is selected and select import. From here, you will be making a sequence from this file. And there you go. You have your animation here in After Effects, ready to be exported or color graded. Pretty cool. Well, that's it guys. Let me know what you want to learn how to do. I know getting started with 3D can be a little bit overwhelming, but it is totally doable just following steps. 